Hey everyone, Jamie here from technicalcafe.com. Welcome to your 25th HTML tutorial. In the previous tutorial, we actually started uh, HTML project 1, uh, which is a kind of a culminating project where we're going to put um, some of the things that we learned in the previous tutorials together uh, and actually make something interesting or useful with it. So uh, what I chose to create was a profile page, and if you go to the previous tutorial, you can learn a little bit more about it and uh, see what the completed profile page looks like. Um, so where we left off in the last tutorial, um, was we put in a title and uh, or a header and I put in Jamie's profile and we also put in an image um, and depending on what your profile your name and title and image is all going to be different so um, this is pretty much where we left off we centered both of those things um, so let's get into making uh, the body which is what the next part of our tutorial is um, so let's come in here to our uh, editor here and uh, the body that we're going to have is going to actually be right here in the middle and it's going to be we're going to style it using some CSS um, here's where we're going to put our text, like our information about ourselves or whatever else you want to put in there. Uh, and then under that we'll just put in some links. So in order to start the body, what we're going to do is we're going to come into our code and we're going to create a div. Uh, and if you remember that when you create a div, basically everything in between the div is what's going to be styled by the div when you access it in CSS. So um, a div is just two tags. It's an opening div tag and a closing div tag. And we're going to give this ID uh, we're going to give this div an ID of body. So ID equals, then some quotation marks, and body. So if we save and come back over here uh, and refresh, you'll still notice that nothing's there. Uh, even though we added in the div tab, the, the div tags. Um, and if you've watched the div tutorial, you'll know why. That's because there's nothing in the div. So, uh, And we also haven't styled the div. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to add some text here. And what we're going to say, uh, we can say, this is where you can add some text to your profile page. Feel free to put whatever text you want in here. And I just figured I'd put some placeholder text. You can put whatever you want, um, but just so we don't have to have a tutorial of me typing in a bunch of text. Um, this is just where we'll leave off. So if we save this uh, and we'll come and refresh, you'll notice that our text is here, but it doesn't look right. Um, we want our text to be in the center and we want to have a border around it so that we can kind of make it look nice and it's kind of close to the picture here so we kind of want to move it down. So um, we can do all of this in CSS um, and if you watched the previous div tutorial we did a little bit of CSS and we're not going to be doing anything much more advanced than that um, in this tutorial. So if you follow along you should be okay. Don't worry if you don't understand all the CSS. Uh, again this is just more of an HTML tutorial. So let's get into it. Okay so over here uh, in our style thing right here is our style tags is where we're going to start adding in our the style code for our CSS. So if you remember from the divs tutorial, in order to access a div uh, that you've named with an ID attribute, all you need to do is use a hashtag sign or a pound sign and then just uh, what you name the ID. So since this div is the body div, we're just going to call it body. And then we're going to put in a code block using some curly brackets or curly braces. And anything in between here um, is what's going to be used to style this div. So uh, again, let's just save and take a look, and you'll notice that still nothing's changed, uh, and that's because we haven't added anything to our div here. So uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create a height and width for our div. So what we're going to do is say height equals, and we'll say about 500 pixels. Oops, I'm still in the HTML mode here. So height, 500 pixels, uh, and again, this is um, the selector here in order to uh, edit whatever you're choosing with the selector. All you need to do is type in the the um, the attribute or whatever you want to call it here, um, colon, and then whatever uh, you want to do to it. So height colon 500 pixels semicolon to end it. Um, so if we save that, come over here and take a look. You'll notice that uh, we did get a little bit of a scroll here. And the next thing we're going to want to do is create a width. So width, and we'll say uh, let's say 500 pixels. And we can change the height. Let's change the height to like 300 pixels so we don't have a scroll. Okay, there we go. So now our width is 300 pixels, so it's going to basically start here and end here, uh, which is why this text here got bumped down to the next line. And the height, uh, there's really no way I can show you that here, but once we put the border in, uh, you'll see what the height is. So next we're going to add a border and we'll just add that on top. So what we're going to do is say border colon and we'll say 1 px for 1 pixel. It's going to be 1 pixel wide. Um, 1 px black and dotted. Or we'll say dashed. 
So we have one a border that's one pixel. Uh, the border is going to be black. You can choose whatever color you want, uh, and it's going to be a dashed border. So if we save this, come over here and take a look, you'll notice that now we have our border put in here. Uh, and the order of the uh, attributes here isn't going to make a difference. So if we say 1px dashed black, save it and take a look, uh, it's the exact same thing. Now the next thing we're going to want to do, since this is right up against our picture here, uh, is we're going to want to move this down and we're going to want to center it. So in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to put in some margins, um, and we're also going to add in some padding to keep this over here uh, off off the uh, side of the wall here. So what we're going to do is come back into our code, and we're going to say margin colon uh, 0px auto. And what this is going to do is it's going to it's going to center it basically. So if we come in here, save this, and refresh, now that we have our profile page, uh, this is all centered. So uh, this is all good and well here. So the next thing we want is we want to add some uh, a top margin. We want to basically override the margin that we just set uh, and bump this down a couple pixels, maybe uh, 20 pixels or so, so it's not right up against our picture. So to do that, what we do, we say margin top colon, and then we just say 20 pixels. Uh, remember, px uh, obviously is the code for pixels. So we save uh, and we refresh, and now this looks nice. It's down a little bit, gives us a little bit of space, uh, so we we don't have to have everything jumbled up together. And uh, since we only have a little bit of text in here, uh, we can just add some more text, or uh, we can just shorten up the div a little bit just to make everything uh, look okay. So we'll change the height to 200 pixels. And there we go. Now everything is a little bit uh, more compact and better here. So the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to add some padding inside the, uh, the div itself just to keep the uh, text right off the uh, border there to make it look a little cleaner. So in order to do that, what we can do is we can say padding colon and then uh, for our padding, what we're going to do is we'll say something like 10 pixels, and uh, we can just see how that looks. And uh, there we go. This looks nice. We have uh, some 10 pixel padding, um, so that everything isn't all bunched up together again. Uh, so any other text you add will have the same exact padding effect. Anything you put in the div, it's going to have uh, this div will have these settings. So if you put an image in there, uh, the image will not be right up against it. So uh, it's just uh, something that we can use to make it look a little bit nicer. Okay. So now what we're going to do. Uh, so we want to, or I want to personally center this text just so it looks a little bit nicer. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to come in and say text dash align and we'll just say center. Uh, so if we save that, come over here and refresh, everything looks uh, centered and if you, the more text you have, uh, you won't have text like the ends here and everything. So it's just, it just keeps it kind of uniform and uh, in line with the page, it's nice and centered. So uh, let's come back in here. And now we're going to work on adding our links to the page. And our links are going to be uh, right under here, uh, under our div. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is actually uh, add some space between the div and the links. Uh, so we can do that by saying, uh, we'll come in here and add another margin, margin, bottom. And we'll say something like 10 pixels. Uh, and this isn't going to be apparent right now. But once we skip to the uh, next tutorial and start adding in our links, you'll notice that uh, the margin's going to have a lot more space in here, and it's not going to be all bunched up like we had over here. So, uh, in the next tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to start putting in our links. Um, we're going to pretty much finish off our profile page. So, if you are interested in continuing on, please feel free to follow over to the next tutorial. Uh, and again, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please feel free to post them in the comments below. Uh, and I can try to help you out with those, and uh, we can see what's going on. So, thank you for watching, and have a great day.